Hello, Algebra Kids. Uh, welcome to the next chapter, Chapter 9. Um, so I hope your Chapter 8 quiz went okay. No, you didn't have a quiz over Chapter 8. Don't worry about that. Uh, so uh, this is going to be simplifying square roots. I'm adding a lesson in here uh, just to kind of cover some things before we get into a little bit more of Chapter 9. Uh, we're just doing a couple of lessons, this and another one out of Chapter 9, a couple out of Chapter 10, and we're about done then after that. So simplifying square roots. Uh, this is similar to fractions, the same idea. Like if we have 5 tenths for a fraction, we don't leave it 5 tenths, we re reduce it to 1 half, divide top and bottom by 5. Okay, if we had 8 twelfths, we divide top and bottom by 4, we get 2 thirds. The same thing goes for square roots. There are ways you can simplify them and make them into lower numbers. Okay? Now, first of all, I want to make sure we understand what the perfect squares are and what is a square root. Okay? So the perfect squares are when you take a number times itself and then the square root of that. So if you take 1 squared, you get 1. So the square root of 1 answers the question, what number squared equals that? Well, 1 times 1 is 1, so the square root of 1 is 1. So 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, so the square root of 4, what number times itself equals 4, that would be 2. So 1 and 4 are your per first perfect, what they call perfect squares. So 3 squared is 9, so the square root of 9 is 3. And these would be good to know all the way up to 15, actually. Sometimes those numbers show up, uh, be good to understand when what they are and when they show up there. So 4 squared is 16, square root of 16 is 4. These would be inverse operations. Okay, Squaring and square rooting are inverse operations because when you take the square root of this answer, you get what you started back with. So 5 squared is 25, square root of 25 is 5. 6 squared is 36, square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 49, square root of 49 is 7. 8 square root of 64, square root of 64 is 8. 9 square root of 81, square root of 81 is 9. 10 squared, 100. 100. Uh, there you go, Patrick. A little German for you. Uh, square root of 100 is 10. 11 squared, 121. Square root of 121 equals 11. 12 squared, 144. Square root of 144 is 12. 13, 14, 15. Let's go to 16. Why not? 13 squared, 169. 369. That's how I remember it. Multiple to 3. 369. So square root of 169 is 13. 14 squared, take 13 squared and switch those last two numbers to 196. Square root of 196 is 14. 15 squared is 225, so 25, 5 squared is 25, and then 2 because 1 squared is 1, but it has to be bigger than 125. <laughs> so square root of 225 is 15, 16 squared is 256. Yeah, I <laughs> had to check that. Square root of 256 is 16. Okay, so if they're perfect squares, they're easy to simplify. And you will have some of these on the assignment. Okay, but your non-perfect squares. We want these to be simplified, and we will not have any decimals. So on your assignment, no decimals. If you're rounding things, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so a common example would be the square root of 8. So we know the square root of 8 is not a perfect square. The square root of 8 has to be somewhere between 2 and 3 because it's between 4 and 9. 8 is between 4 and 9, so the square root has to be between 2 and 3. Very close to 3, so 2.8, 2.9, something like that, if we're rounding it, but we're not. Okay? We want to do a factor tree. So 8. So square root of 8 is the same as 4 times 2. Square root of 4 times square root of 2. The 2 is prime. No other numbers go into it other than 1 in itself. The 4, it can be broken into 2 and 2. So we're going to do a factor tree. And you're going to circle pairs of the same number. Pairs of the same number. So I have a pair of 2's here. I have another 2 here. I could have circled these 2. But I just need a pairs of numbers. 
So circle pairs of numbers. One of those can go outside. So if you have a buddy, one can go outside. So what do I mean by outside? Well, here's your square root sign. The eight is inside right now, okay? It's trapped, it's quarantined. Okay, it's stuck inside, it's quarantined there. Uh, quarantine doesn't mean you have to stay inside. Okay, you get outside, play, run, do something active. Okay, so eight is inside. If you have a buddy, you can go outside. Okay, so I'm gonna put a two out here and I'm gonna put it in front of the square root sign. So there's a two outside. Anything left over is going to stay inside. So that 2 has to stay inside that's left over right there. I'm going to box it. Okay. So pairs of numbers, if you have a pair, if you have a buddy, one of you, you're going to put one number outside. Anything that left over stays inside. So square root of 8 reduces into 2 root 2. This would be your answer. Now, when you're doing these factor trees, remember all these technically stay in square roots. If you recognize your perfect square, you can get your answer. Square root of 8 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 2 stays square root of 2, so it would be 2 root 2. Okay, so you can check that on a calculator. So the square root of 8 is 2.828, and if I take 2 times the square root of 2, I get the same decimal. Okay? And I'll tell you, if you have one of these calculators, then it makes simplifying these radicals even easier. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do the uh, square root of 12. Some of these you may see on the assignment, so make sure you're writing these down. Square root of 12, I'm going to do a factor tree. That's 2 and 6. 6 is 2 and 3. Um, so I'm looking for a pair of numbers, there's the twos, and I have a three left over. So the pairs of numbers will have a two on the outside, and then I have a three left over, so that's two root three. So the square root of 12 reduces into two root three, that's in the lowest terms. Again, you can use a calculator, make sure the square root of 12 gives you the same decimal as two root three. Let's go bigger, let's go square root of 32, something trickier. Now, if you don't know what numbers to divide by, okay, first of all, it's even. You can you always use 2. 2, 3, 5, and 7 are the first four prime numbers. And you can divide by these first. Okay? If you don't know your divisibility rules, or you don't know what numbers go into these, chances are one of these numbers will go into it. Okay? 2, 3, 5, and 7. So 32, we do not know it, but it is anything that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 is even. So 2 goes in there, 2 and 16. So 16 is 2 and 8, 2 and 4, 2 and 2. So we have a lot of 2s going on here. We're not going to use the 16, 8, and 4. We use numbers that are at the end of the line. So I have a pair of 2s right here. I have a pair of 2s right here, and then I have one 2 left over. So I have two sets of 2s. This become, goes on the outside, and you multiply them. So you have a 2 times the square root of 2 times the square root of root 2. So this is where they went. The first set of numbers had a 2 on the outside. The second set of numbers had a 2 on the outside. This 2 left over goes on the inside. So I get 4 root 2 would be your final answer. Again, if you recognize your perfect squares, look what we have up here. Square root of 32 is the square root of 2 times the square root of 16. Square root of 16 is 4. You can jump straight to, oh, square root of 16 is 4. Put a 4 down. I have a root 2 left over, 4 root 2. Okay. Uh, let's do square root of 24. Okay, so square root of 24, that's 4 times 6. That's 2 and 2, 2 and 3. So I have a pair of 2s, and then I have two numbers left over here. I have a 2 left over and a 3 left over. They're not a pair. They're not the same. So I'm going to put a 2 on the outside for that, and then on the inside I take 2 times 3. So just like we multiplied on this first one when they're on the outside, if you have leftover numbers on the inside, you're going to get 2 root 6 as your final answer. Okay? 
Uh, square root of 98, sometimes a tricky one, but again, if you try these, you'll see, okay, 2 goes into it, 2 and 49. Maybe you don't know, recognize what 49 is, so you try 2, it doesn't work, try 3, it doesn't work, try 5, it doesn't work, try 7, and you see it's, oh, it's 7 times 7. You have a pair of 7s and a 2 left over, so it would be 7 root 2. Square root of 49 is 7. Okay, so this assignment is not on big ideas. Okay, I should have said that at the beginning. Do not look for this on big ideas. This is something a, a little bit different I had to make. Um, this. So on your assignment form here, I'll put the link here. You should have already clicked that. This is another hyperlink, okay? And it's going to take you to this sheet right here. Simplifying radicals. And you need to type, this is where you can type your answer. So the first thing you need to do is go up and file, make a copy. Okay, make a copy of it, save it to your drive, and then you have to share that back to me. Okay, you should not be able to edit this, this document. Okay, it should just be a view only. So you have to file, make a copy. Now, how you type your answer, so square root of 125, I know some of these are bigger, check your numbers, 2, 3, 5, and 7, see which ones go into it. Okay, so square root of 125, if you go insert an equation, this menu right here will pop up, okay? Right here, math operations, there's your square root sign. So you can type, it's five times the square root of five, whatever it is, actually, I think that is it. Okay, so five times the square root of five, 125, five goes into it. Okay, that's how you get your square root. So again, insert equation, and then once you're done here, or whatever, that will stay there. So when you go down to here, you can just type new equation. You can type another one. Okay, so you don't always have to do insert equation. Uh, let's get this out of there. Okay, and again, if you need instructions with that, then here's this YouTube video that's also on the channel for you. So that's simplifying radicals. Let me know if you have questions on where that assignment is. Uh, make sure see who of you listened all the way to the end here. And if you, you can find it and follow those steps, uh, let me know what I can do to help you. Praying for you all, thinking of you, and good luck.